Hi, today I'm going to show you how to crop a data set in three dimensions when you have already created objects. So as you can see here, I have this data set and I want to select just a subset of the entire 3D view, but I've already created these objects. So I will need to do multiple steps to create a cropped region that is going to be specific for both the objects and the 3D view that I want to keep. So the first thing I'm going to do is select edit and then crop 3D. This is where I'm going to define the area that I want to keep. And so make this just up here to this posterior section. Make it a pretty small little area that I want to keep. And then I can also change uh, using this view I can change the size of the selection box of what I want to keep um, by pulling on any of the different boundaries in these three views, or I can actually select up here or enter in values here for what I want to keep. But the next thing that I'm going to do before I finalize this crop by selecting OK, I need to make a snip of what these dimensions are that I'm actually going to crop to um, to keep. So I need to know what these values are for the positions in the X, Y, and Z dimension. So the minimum and the maximum of what I'm keeping. So I'm just going to take a real quick little screenshot of this using a snipping tool and save that for my next step. So I'll hit OK here. And then I can hit reset. And then this is what I want to keep. But if I zoom out and turn on my different objects, you can see that they're still present. So cropping in 3D is only going to crop your channel data. It's not going to crop the ob objects themselves. So to do that actual object crop, in addition to the volume crop, I need to select the object to be cropped and then enable the filter, this little funnel icon. And I'm going to add three different distinct filters in a row that are going to be equal to those crop dimensions for the X, Y, and Z coordinates. So I will add a new filter and I'm going to select here for my first filter type is going to be specific to my X position. So the values I'm going to type in are going to be these values. So this is the pixel location. So the 362nd pixel in the X dimension to the 423 pixel, um, like between those two. But those aren't the values that I'm actually going to enter. I'm going to enter in these values, this 223.665 to 262.105 as my bottom boundary and upper boundary. So I'll need to turn that on. I'm going to move this to my other monitor. I'm going to enter in those same values. And I can press enter. And so this, and you can see it's highlighted in yellow, the ones that I'm keeping in the X dimension. I need to add in a second filter and do this exact same thing, but with the position Y. So going back to my SNP, I'm going to enter in 40.145 and 120.125. So I can turn on both boundaries. And then I'll do the same thing for position Z. So once again, those values, I need the microns values, not the pixel values for the upper and lower boundaries. Okay, so now I have highlighted in yellow kind of hard to tell, but I have highlighted in yellow what I'm going to to keep. And so if I change this color code, instead of being statistics coded, just use the base code, you can see here uh, in yellow are the objects that are within these dimensions from the crop 3D that I want to keep. So now what do I do? I go back to my funnel tab. I'm going to select this button here that says duplicate selection to new spots. 
this is going to keep those ones that I'm interested in. I can then go back to this original spots object that has everything present. I can keep those if I want, just not display them. Or I can actually just select trash can it, right? And keep the selection here. I can double click on this and uh, change the name if I want to or whatever right? Like whatever works for your workflow, do that. But now you can see that I have this new object, uh, this new spots object that is within the confines of what I split or cropped rather, not split, but cropped from the 3D volume view to keep. So I would then have to go through the same process for all of my other objects that are present. And um, so make a filter, add the X, Y, and Z position filter, make it match what the crop 3D constraints were, and then uh, duplicate that selection, delete the original one. So this is how you would crop a volume that has already created objects. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, have a great day.